Hi guys, it's Technicolor Dust, and I have a voice today. So I figured that for this tutorial, it might be more interesting to listen to me talk through it instead of, you know, just going at it for 10 minutes in silence while the music plays. So today I am doing a tutorial from Neopets.com. Yes, Neopets. I don't know how many of you remember that website, but it seems to be picking up traction again on YouTube with all of these videos about its kind of really sad history. Like many young kids of the early 2000s, I was easily swept up into the Neopets craze. Funny story, I actually had like three Neopets accounts over the course of my childhood. My first one got hacked by somebody and really for all intents and purposes they made it a better account but I was just really pissed because it was my account that got hacked and they turned my Akara into a flaming loop. So I closed that and then I just closed my other two because I, I guess I just wanted to start over. So this is the same new pets account I used since about fourth or fifth grade I think? Anyway, so today I will be following the tutorial for an Akara Neopet, which is this weird water cat creature. And if I remember right, it may be one of the more popular Neopets. And I'm wondering if that's just because it's the first Neopet you see on the list since the beginning of the alphabet. Whoops. Back to the drawing. So far, this tutorial's pretty okay. This is a really nitpicky thing, personally but I really don't like how everything is broken down into circles. Don't get me wrong, you should break down certain shapes into circles. Like maybe the head should be broken down to a circle, but I think it would have been better if maybe the torso of the body and the front legs were broken down to squares and rectangles. I find that doing all circles can actually make it look kind of stiff, but at the same time, I understand that this is made for kids to be drawing and it's probably easier for them to understand when all the shapes are circles, but then this is kind of contradicted later with the next tutorial that I do. Along the lines of the problem with the shapes, I find that this tutorial is really only good for learning how to draw this particular image of the Akara, but not how to draw the Akara in different poses. I find it, it doesn't really tell you how it's connected to the body. I don't get really a sense of how it's moving. And yeah, you could look up a tutorial for drawing cats and then figure out the anatomy of a cat from there. But. I kind of wish that it was a lot clearer with how the Akara's body is set up instead of just, here's a circle, here are two circles next to it, here are two circles in front, go figure it out. But I guess I really shouldn't be nitpicking a Neopets tutorial for a YouTube video. But here we are. Look where we're at. Anyway, other than those nitpicks really, I think this tutorial's pretty okay for kids and all. Like. It's simple, it's easy to follow, I really wasn't confused along the way at all, which was pretty nice. It does its job, it's telling you how to draw the Akara in this particular position. And that's about it. I have no one their real comment other than that. As you can see with my own drawing going along with the tutorial, I have sketched and inked it and colored it. So now I'm currently shading it. I usually start out with a bit of a rougher um, cell shade look and then I go in with a blending brush to smooth the hard edges out and just give it a nice soft kind of feel to it. I end up going in a little later and you will see that after I do the next tutorial where I darken some of the values because I just really wasn't pleased with it but I felt like I had to move on to the next thing. Currently, I'm just darkening the darks a little bit and just adding some finishing details and some highlights before moving on to the next tutorial. If you guys have any memories about the Neopets website or favorite Neopet or just any good feeling stories about 
the website, let me know them below in the comments. I would honestly love to hear them. And we are now finishing up here. For the next tutorial, I decided to do one of my favorite fairies. Yes, this game has fairies. You got to do fairy quests with them. It was pretty cool. But I did one of my favorite fairies, Eluzin. She was an earth fairy, I believe, who gave you these quests to go out and buy her things. And she would give you rewards. And progressively, it got rarer and rarer and much harder to complete them in the time limit she gave you. Did I forget to message that? Yeah, she added a time limit to it, so you only had maybe like three hours to get some mint chocolate chip milkshake. I think I made it to like level 20 or something before I wasn't able to afford it anymore. This was when I didn't really make an effort to gather many Neo points. She also had a rivalry with another fairy who lived on her own cloud in the fairy kingdom called Jidora, and if you did their quest at the same time, they would get really mad, and you couldn't do either of those quests for 24 hours, which was kind of annoying. <laughs> it gave some personality to the world, which was really cool, and that was something I appreciated about Neopets when they weren't shoving ads down your throat. So this tutorial I actually had quite a few more problems with than with the Akara one. For starters, the one place they probably could have used circles to break everything down, they didn't. They just kind of drew in a vague head shape and then a place for her shoulders, quote unquote. Um, and just was like, here's a grid if you want to try and figure it out. But the grid honestly just seemed really pointless because there was really no clear placement for the objects. Just like, here's kind of a slight space for where the head goes and here's kind of a slight space where the shoulder goes and they're just slightly off. I don't know, it just seemed like they're really hellbent on all of the circles in the Akar tutorial. And here they're just like, hey, here's some blobs that we found. Have fun kids, try to figure it out. You could have used circles to build up the blobs. It actually probably would have been a lot easier to, for the artist to understand that. I still use circles to build up my pieces. It just, it's a very simple shape that's nice to fall back on, which is probably why they used in the Akara tutorial. The perspective on certain parts of it is kind of wonky. Like, so you have the tilt of her head and you have that ear coming out. And granted, I did draw this ear a little big just because I like how big elf ears look because at the end of the day, I kind of was following the tutorial but still wanted to create a pleasing image but you don't see the ear on the other side. And ears aren't like flat pressed up against the forehead, they angle out a little bit. So you should see a little bit of the ear, especially if you're seeing a little bit of the wing, like they have in the tutorial. Also, that other eye is really messed up. I had to adjust it a little bit, I think. That eye is just way too small. Even if it's in perspective, it would, still not be that small. It would still be a little bigger. It has to be in proportion with the other eye. I don't know, man. I don't know. Again, similar to the Akar tutorial, the structure is kind of poor, except this time it's very clearly based on human anatomy. And I just found the anatomy was kind of off, especially with the way the shoulder was aligning with the body as it was foreshortened. And that hand just really bugged me. It doesn't look like a hand until you put the glove on it. I don't know. I know I'm bad at drawing hands, but I'm really not this bad. Also, I find that this tutorial just jumped around a lot. Like, all of a sudden we were adding in all of these details out of nowhere that weren't mentioned. Maybe I just didn't read it hard enough, but I felt like a lot of the times that in the like the little word descriptions, they wouldn't mention things that they were adding in the pictures they had next to the tutorial. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. That wouldn't be the first time. All of that aside, I still tried my best to make a pleasing image 
with the tutorial that was presented to me and I am trying to color and shade it as best I can. Um, same method I use with the Akara. I find this method probably works a little better on humanoid figures than water cats, but you know, you do what you gotta do. When working with colors and shadow, I like to keep kind of a general atmospheric color to tint the whole image in a way. So with Illusion, I kind of kept the shadows very green, but and I do this later, unfortunately, I find that the green washes her out a little bit because humans just don't really have green in their skin. So I add a little color, a little bit of red to her face to help brighten it up a little bit and make it seem a little bit more natural. Now that Illusion's pretty much done with the bulk of her work, I go back to the Akara just to go in, add some details that I might have missed, and refine the shading a little bit because I was just a little bit frustrated with it. I was just placing in darker shadows where I felt it really needed a pop in a sense to help bring it into the third dimension a little bit more. Once I did that, I felt better about the overall drawing and how it looks. I really like it now. It looks snazzy. Now we moved on to Illusion, who I, again, like I mentioned before, I added some more green in the shadows just to really push that, I guess. I guess I just thought that more green could have been place in the image when it's already full of green. Anyway, on Illusion, I just keep continuing pushing the lights and the darks, making the lights lighter and the darks darker until I was satisfied. At this point was when I decided that Illusion needed some red on her because she was just looking a little washed out with the green. So I go in, I add some blush to her cheeks, a little bit on her neck, and I also put some on her shoulders. I liked how that looked so much that I decided to give the Akara some too, just a little bit of a nice light blush, even though it probably wouldn't show up through the fur. It's a fantasy creature. I do what I want. I hope you really enjoyed this video and a look back at my childhood with me. If you did, please give me a like, and if you want to keep seeing more of what I'm doing, it'd be cool if you hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!